Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Josh Kulabau versus Ricardo Ramos. Ramos. Now, Josh Kulabau, both guys coming off of two back to back losses. Josh Kulabau, 11 and 3, 11, 3 and 1, 3 and 2 in his last five fights. This is an interesting one. 11 and 3. 11, 3, and 1, 3, and 2 in his last five fights. But the two losses are good losses. Laurel Murphy and Danny Silva. Danny Silva fight was very, very close. I did edge it out a little bit to Danny Silva. For one, the knockdown was very big in that first round. Minus 170 favorite, 30 years old, 5'10 with a 73 inch reach. He had so much momentum after the Melsic Basanganai finish. So much momentum. And then the fight was announced with Lerone Murphy. And I was like, okay, this is a very good matchup. And Lerone Murphy dominated them. And Ricardo Ramos, 16 and 6, 2 and 3 in his last five fights. One plus 145 underdog, 29 years old. 5'9 with a 72 inch reach, 1 inch in height, and 1 inch in reach for Josh Kulabau. The biggest X factor for me personally in this matchup for, for Ricardo Ramos, or Ramos, however he pronounces it. Is his ability sometimes to do crazy things to get crazy finishes. Like he has um, 11 finishes, but he's also been finished five out of his six losses. He's seven and five in the UFC. He's been finished four out of five losses in the UFC. So Junior Rosa guillotined him in the first round just a little bit earlier than Charles Jordan. He did destroy uh, uh, Danny uh, Chavez with a back <laughs> spinning back elbow with punches against the cage. It was nasty, man. He got a really good choke. That doesn't matter. Lost the decision, uh, beat Bill Algio, lost to Laurel Murphy, ground and pound late in the first round. Looked good early and then got mauled. Um, and then Syed Nurmagomedov got him with some body kick and punches. Again, this is after he, Eamon Zahabi, he's spinning back elbowed him in the third round. He had some really, really good moments against some decent fighters. Syed destroyed him, Laurel destroyed him. Um... Jordan finished him and Julian Rosa finished him. So I think the style of Josh Kulabau, who's a pressure forward, a lot of output. He again, his hype has died down a little bit since he's been since his last two fights. He had so much coming off that Melsic Basangane uh finish. He's three three and one in the UFC. Only finished the one time, which was Jalen Turner. I really like this matchup and I really, really like Josh Kulabau in this one, and I think he gets a big big win to get back on track and as, as always guys subscribe like comment peace